Hi, and welcome to this new series where I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can set up unit testing inside an Angular application. Now notice I'm saying unit testing because I'm going to make a new series later where we're going to talk about test-driven development, but this is just about setting up testing inside your Angular application. You might already have a running Angular application like I do right here, and that means that you have to figure out how you can actually even get started with testing, because even though there are specs files ready for testing, a lot of them will probably fail right now if you haven't tested at all yet. So we'll have to start out by making the tests run, and then we can start testing our application. So that's kind of the goal of this series right here. We're going to set up some testing, and we're going to have a look at the different areas that we can actually test inside an Angular application. We can test things like elements inside your HTML. We can test the entire DOM, actually, and how it works. We can test services and the data they get. We can test uh, using spies. We can test using uh, mock objects or stops. There's a lot of things you can cover in a unit test setup, like we're going to build right here in this Angular application. Before we even dive into any code, let me show you what code I'm using right here from scratch. I've gone and I've downloaded this guy, the one that I made for functions in the last series, and that's the one we're going to work from. And that means again that it's already a running application that you can just launch right out of the box. And right now if you run the tests, you would fail. So if I do an ng test like we'll do in the next lesson, you'll get a lot of errors popping up. So I'll show you that in the next lesson. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to first clean up our code so the test can run. Right? And when the tests are actually running, I'm going to try and show you guys some different areas that we can test. And we're just going to do it step by step and just make a video and start testing our application and slowly we'll make it a lot more safe to refactor our code, to write new code. And then later in the next series, we'll even do test driven development to write new code from scratch and make tests for that as well. And as you start testing your application, you'll be a lot more safe You'll have a lot better, you're, you're, you'll feel better about your code and it'll be a lot easier to pass the code over to new developers uh, that can actually, using the test, read what's actually going on. There's also things like imports and stuff like that. You'll get a lot better understanding about how your modules work, in my mind at least. So there's a lot of great stuff in this series right here. I hope you can use. Before we even get started, I want to show you guys a few articles that I've used myself to get started with testing. And I just want to give those guys credit right away. There's this article right here. I'll try and post the links in the bottom of the description so you guys can go to them if you want to. There's a great one by Nissan Diago right here who writes about testing. A bit outdated, it's from 2017, but still there's a lot of good stuff in here. There's about test room development from uh, John Selly right here. And there's uh, this one, the Firebase. This guy has made a lot of great videos on Angular Fire uh, base in general, but he also has a great test uh, overview right here. So there's a lot of great videos out there and I think, and, and also posts about this. I just wanna make a new series right here where we're going to focus on an already running Angular application because I don't feel that's in there anywhere. Most of them are from scratch and you're probably not there right now. You have an already running application and you wanna start out there. So that's what I wanna kinda dive into. So let's, End this series right here. Now you guys know where we're starting. And again, you know the running application that we have right now. And next lesson, let's try and run the ng test to try and see if we actually have a running test set up right here. So see you next time. Have fun.